with the better. All right? Okay. So but at this stage, if, if, if he were to continue growing with his beak like that, I think he'll be able to manage very well. So, um, Fantastic. He, you know, the way he came in, there would have been no way for him to survive in the wild. Now he's got a, a pretty good chance of surviving in the wild. His beak was sticking straight up into the air. Yep, the top I know. Beak. Yep. Anyway. Little so, so far, so good. We wish you well, Maggie. Hey? Yes, lucky we bird. Hey? Very You're lucky, lucky birdie. Bird. Just quietly. It's such a nice nature. There's a lump here too on the side of his neck. What's that from? Right, we've got a little um, abscess here on the side of his neck. Oh. And I've just pulled it out. Um, put a bit of stinky paint on that as well. Um, oh, I know what that is. That's where we had the tube down the side of his neck. Oh, okay. it's a scab where, where it's healing over, oh, right? Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, yes. Anyway, just um, a little bit of stinky there for another day or two, and that should heal up very nicely. That's where we had the feeding tube at one stage. Fantastic. All right. And I'll just check his legs, but I think he's let him have a walk around. We might close that door. You close the door and. Bark orders. Thank you. Dark waters. All right. All righty, mate. Liam. How's it, baby, without you? Yeah. Yes, well, you have to do that. Now, what's happened? We, he's got one leg that is very wonky. <gasps> what? One leg has broken at some stage. That's his right leg. Yeah. However, I think it's going to be fun. Well, that's the way it's looking to me from. Yeah. Maybe you ought to start preening yourself. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want your skin. You would. You're hungry. He's an ibis. We don't need metal poisoning, thank you very much. He's an ibis. Hey. All right. I can give him some bird food. Yeah, I'm touching the eye. I need to bring my head in the bag. Let's get on the chook food out of that bag. Poor baby. I might be able to soak it, should I? Alright, let's see how he goes. Good one. He's the sweetest little artist. He's such a good, good natured good. little chap. Yeah. He says, I'm an artist, I'd rather have the plastic bag. Oh, yes, you're dancing. <laughs> you're dancing. Yeah. You're a good birdie. Hey, you want it in a dish? All right, I'll put it in a dish for you. Says, oh, okay. I'm a, living in a five-star hotel. He says, I get my food in the dish. Actually, I've had to put, sometimes I've had to put his food on paper because he chases it around a little bit with that splint on. Do you, you want a drink? Thank you. All right. One of his legs look a little bigger than the other. Yeah, I know. I'm worried about that leg. God, I don't know what happened. Certainly hasn't fallen or anything. He's been a... Uh, unless he did something on the way here. No, it's, it's old. Oh. I think we've been focusing on the deep. We might have... Oh, it might, might be when he fell out of the tree. Yep. Anyway, I'll have a look at that now. Okay, thank you little one. Oh. Alright, we've got a towel there somewhere. Yeah. And what we've got here, I'm just keeping his backside aimed away from me, but we've got a, a fracture in the lower leg here. Uh, where, and we've got a callus at that point. Stay mate. That's why I use a towel, it's so much easier. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. <laughs> right. 
So yeah, that's that's fused. Um, so that's something that we've missed, possibly, um, while we've been focusing on the beak. Fortunately, it's not a serious one. But what I would conclude is that he had torn his uh, collateral ligaments. So we've got one normal leg, this one, and this one here. Um, there's been a fracture uh, or a tear of the ligaments just there and we've got a marked callus reaction and we've got slight deviation of the leg about 10 degree deviation of the leg um, not enough to interfere with his quality of life fortunately and I don't propose to do anything more about that at the, at the present time so um, this little fella if his beak continues to grow and remodel normally which I'm hoping that it will now um, will soon be releasable Fantastic. Uh, that's really great. not that everyone wants an eye but that's the trouble is that the community these are sacred birdies in historically and, um, and in my world too and they're um, generally generally very friendly and um, can be a bit of a pest if you're trying to have tuck up at a park bench but how nice to have them wandering around oh, I yeah. think it's beautiful to have them wandering around and to be able to celebrate life with them and to be able to help them and they don't they're, have a mean bone in their no, bodies they're, they're so wonderful embodiments are love made by the same creator as we are and uh, there we are